today we're tackling a question that drives so many people crazy. Why is my wireless bridge actual speed way lower than the shiny number on the box? So you've seen those big claims. 900 megabit per second, 1200 megabit per second, or even higher. But when you test it, nah, not exactly. So let's dive into the why, and I promise, it's not just you. First up, that 900 megabit per second isn't what you think. Wireless bridges use something called full duplex communication. They're sending and receiving data at the same time. But here's the kicker. That speed is split in half for each direction. So 900 megabit per second total becomes 450 megabit per second for uploading and 450 megabit per second for downloading. So think of it like a highway. Half of the lengths go south and half goes north. And now you might say 450 megabit per second still sounds great. But wait, we're not done yet. Wireless bridges aren't just passing data back and forth, they're also consistently checking to stay connected. So this maintenance talk eats up bandwidth. Protocol overhead like encryption, error checking, and handshakes can suck away 20 to 30% of your speed. So suddenly, that 900 megabit per second drops to around, let's say, 300 megabit per second. Let's do the math. 900 megabit per second split in half for duplex, so you get 450 megabit per second. Protocol overhead, 30%. And environmental loss, 10 to 20%, let's say 15%. So boom, you're left with 300 megabit per second. A third of the original claim. And now before you rage quick, remember, this is normal. Wireless tech isn't lying, it's just not telling the whole story. So to maximize your speed, you can minimize obstacles, keep your bridges in a clear line of sight, and avoid interference. Steer clear of microwaves, baby monitors, and other Wi-Fi networks. And also update your firmware. Manufacturers often optimize performance over time. So next time you see 900 megabit per second on the cover of your wireless bridges, you know the secret. Have it for duplex communication, transmitting and receiving. Then subtract the tag tax, your protocol overhead. And factor in reality, because weather like rainy or foggy days can affect the signal. It's not magic, it's physics and engineering. Now thank you very much for watching. You can drop a comment and say what's the weirdest thing interfering with your Wi-Fi signal. And until next time, stay connected.